it said to be like more of a summery scent but i think it's more of a wintery scent because you smell like a snack and what do you eat in the winter snacks <laughs> hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel happy new year this is going to be my first recorded video i will be posting another video or would have already posted another video by the time you see this one but i am so happy um to be stepping into 2022 and i have so much planned for this year for myself as well as this channel so again oh my god i forgot hi my name is candace what's up if you've never been here before and if you have thank you for returning to my channel um this video is going to be my winter perfume favorites because a lot of people liked my fall perfume favorite so why not get into what i like to smell like in the winter even though we're in the house don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl's channel and let's get right into my winter perfume favorites oh my god i'm talking with my hands crazy i will be drinking some blush wine and it is box wine because we're baddies on a budget, okay? Honestly, like I'm in the house, like when people come over, I bring out the good shit, but if I'm just in the house drinking, like I'm gonna get me a box wine and just let it sit in the fridge and then pour it out as much as I need to. Don't let these people fool you. All right, so the first perfume that I will be introducing is one of my oldest big girl perfumes. <laughs> and this is, okay, plain. Really? My first perfume that I'm going to talk about is one of my oldest big girl perfumes. My first perfume ever was Black Opium. Ugh. Mmm, throwing tomatoes. It's dang so bad, yo. I, I sprayed my black opium the other day, and oh my god, yo. I'm sorry if you are offended by this portion of the video. Black opium smells horrible. <laughs> it's so childish. Like, girl, grow up. I'm so sorry. If it smells good on you, you know what, I'm not here to judge, but mm -mm, I sprayed it and I just took a shower. I always spray perfume before I go to sleep. I sprayed that junk and I was like, I hopped in the shower again and took another shower. It was that bad, like it made my head hurt. Tom Ford was my second big girl perfume and I love this perfume. They don't go through it too often because of how potent this perfume is. Black Orchid was so popular like five or six, seven years ago, whenever the heck I bought this. And I went to Sephora, I smelled the Black Orchid. It don't smell good. People like it. People love it actually, but it's just not for me. It's not that girl for me. But I sprayed the Tom Ford Velvet Orchid and fell in love. Yes, this is very strong, very powdery, but it is just a nice going out. It's grown woman. And what's funny is I fell in love with this years ago. Like I am turning 31 this year and I probably bought this when I was like 24. This is a grown ass woman perfume. Like The notes in this perfume are bergamot, mandarin, rum, honey, orchid, rose, jasmine, orange blossom, um, hyacinth, heliotrope, pearl, balsam, mare, labdanum, sandalwood, suede, and vanilla. Cause you know Tom Ford gotta throw everything in their mama and ingredients. But it's a part of the musky floral family. It's, you gotta be 
ready for it. This is a, I'm wearing black, I'm on my like dominatrix, like that's what this perfume gives me. So you guys know I love Tom Ford. Certain scents from Tom Ford are just like beautiful to me. I like girlier scents, uh, mostly florals, as you guys know from the last video I did. This is the Tom Ford Sole Niche uh, body spray. And Sole Niche is such a unique scent. It's a builder as you guys know I love these body sprays for builders I have so many of these Tom Ford body sprays they're very expensive for a body spray but what can you do you just buy it if you like it and if you don't don't like the family it's a part of is the musky floral family are you surprised <laughs> There's Turkish rose, bergamot, carrot seed, and vanilla in this. The lasting power is not going to be too strong, but again, for that purpose is to build. I don't like to wear it on its own for the most part. So this next perfume is probably not going to be too popular with people, but that's fine. It wasn't popular with me until I worked there. <laughs> Perfumes are very great price. They're like reasonable. This perfume that I'm gonna be bringing up is definitely an evening perfume. It's very much giving like church or night out. Like you could wear it to church during the day. I wouldn't wear it anywhere else during the day because it is way too potent and strong. But it's definitely, it's a going out perfume. Like anytime I spray this, people, are, they always ask me what it is. And of course, when I say it, they're like, never heard of it. It's the Tear de Lumiere perfume. The notes are ambrette, lavender, and almond. Lavender hits you last, which is fine with me because I'm not like a huge lavender person, but I think it adds really well with the almond and in the winter these are the type of like I like warmer scented perfumes so that's why I wanted to throw this in here as like an extra and I want to say it's priced at like $70 so like I said you're not gonna like break the bank but this is a good like cheaper perfume or like starter perfume i would say anybody that's looking into getting into perfume scents if they don't want to smell like everybody else try loxiton like i promise you you tell somebody what you're wearing no one will even know and i know a lot of people me um i like to tell people what i'm wearing just like yeah i'm wearing this but i don't want everybody to smell like how i smell i'm an aries for context <laughs> anyway I think it's very popular and I think it's really catching on now especially now with everybody talking about perfume this is the Carolina Herrera good girl perfume and what's funny is I sprayed this in the store like I was buying a gift from my friend for her birthday last year I was spraying a bunch of perfumes that I thought she would like and I loved it, but I never bought it for myself. What's funny is like after her birthday, she would like text me or like call me and like rave about it and be like, oh my God, that is my, that's my shit. Like good girl is my, my girl. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? Let me buy it for myself. Isn't this cute? Like it looks like a heel. Like Carolina Herrera, this is so cute. What a perfect idea. It doesn't have like an on off cap because you literally just spray it from the top of the heel but oh my god it smells so good this perfume reminds me of like being sexy and being empowered is this your favorite or are you just horny that's what this perfume smells like to me whenever like it literally is so sexy the longevity everything about it it just does what it's supposed to do it it gives what it's supposed to give like hmm that carolina herrera i promise you it works like <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 
this is uh, definitely a only at night. You only wear that at night. Don't wear that to brunch. Don't wear that during the day. It is too, like, come hither of a perfume to wear all the damn time. Like, that is to be worn after 6 p.m. when the vamps come out, okay? The Good Girl is a warm floral. It has tuberose, jasmine, and tonka bean in it. Whew, it smells good as hell in here. Like, it's getting me hot. Ebony wood. So, for the three people that don't watch Kyra's vlogs, or vlogs, um, or her channel at all, Ebony Woods is a perfume from Zara. Yes, you heard it right, Zara. It is $40 for the, the three fluid ounce. And actually, I got it on sale. And I was like, you know what? This girl always talking about this damn Ebony Wood. And I was online. The same way she found it is the same way I picked it up. I wasn't going in there to buy it. I was standing online about to purchase my stuff. And... I seen the candle for Ebony Wood and smelt it. And I was like, oh, she might be onto something. And you know how like people say stuff, but until you see it for yourself, you really gotta like, I had to see it for myself. Cause I'm like, it's Zara. Like I'm not buying perfume from Zara. Like, I'm sorry. Like my perfume is not cheap. Like it just, it just wasn't clicking in my head as to why she was loving it so much. I'm like, it might smell good, but is it a body spray for it to call itself a perfume? Like it just wasn't registering to me. Of course they only had three ounce bottle, but I picked it up and it was $29. So I was like, sold, let me buy that. I got home, I sprayed some. I'm not even gonna hold you men every time i wear ebony wood they ask me what i'm wearing and i literally just had a man the other day ask me what i'm wearing because he wanted to pick it up for his wife he was like i think my wife would love that it's definitely not super girly but it is a strong daytime and nighttime scent. like you could wear it whenever um hold on my okay what was i saying it is a nice um anytime scent but it is so incredibly beautiful for the price. I actually have to buy a new one because of how much I used it this, like these past few months. In Ebony Wood, the family is woody and the notes are pink pepper, clove, and ebony. It's so pretty, like it just, but again, you gotta know that Yes, it's a cheap perfume. The longevity is not there, which is to be expected. Like it is a $40 perfume. I want to say that lasts like maybe three, four hours max. That's it. It smells good, but it goes away. I actually might bring it down to two. And I'm not mad at it because it is a very inexpensive and affordable perfume. Like, go to Zara and buy you some. The last perfume that I am going to talk about is, I'm so, 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 so happy. Sephora perfume sampler sets i bought a lot of them this year and i usually like i said in my sephora haul if you haven't watched it it's gonna be plugged right here most of the time i don't like the favorites that are in that box so i tend to not buy them but this year they had one of the perfumes that i love was in there so i figured let me do that to get it for cheaper because who doesn't love a material girl on a budget? There were two that I liked that I never sprayed and there was the Toka Florence. I love Toka Florence. I'll talk about it in the next video, most likely the spring video because it's just a very light airy, but let me not get into that. Soul Charosa 62 Eau de Perfume. Y'all, y'all. This, this 
right here is my swag this perfume smells so mother loving great it has no floral in it at all this it said to be like more of a summery scent but i think it's more of a wintery scent because you smell like a snack and what do you eat in the winter snacks <laughs> you know christmas cookies um christmas cakes things like that this smells so good uh, like and i am like i said i was so surprised let me just get right into it this perfume is a great daytime nighttime anytime about to see your man about to go to the gym about to go to work about to go on a date just anytime scent oh my god i really just want to smell it right now oh my god it smells so good y'all it's so pretty <laughs> it smells like a girly girl anyway in the sol de janeiro cherosa cheriosa 62 it's a warm and spicy perfume which that's why i'm so confused that they said it's a like summer perfume but i guess you could wear it in the summer and the winter but whatever there's salted caramel pistachio and vanilla those are the notes in this perfume and everything that they said it just smell you could smell every ingredient in it it just smells so good all together like you'll literally feel like super pretty wearing this perfume like i love this so much this is another complimented perfume by everyone and what's so cool about it i think it only costs like 60 maybe 70 dollars max maybe 75 like i don't know the price whatever i'll link them below so different from any of the other perfumes that i like which like surprised me it just, that threw me off i was like i would have never smelled this had it not been for that sampler set so i guess it did its job this year I, I hope you enjoyed all of the winter scents that i love i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and let me know your favorites as well as something you think that i should try out or speak about in the next video see you guys in the next one bye You're gonna look fake, but that's exactly how I wanna look. Plastic and fake. Candy paint with the white on top. Lambo doors with the woo up drop. If you busy plotting on what I got, kicking your door and swipe you.